and salutations YouTube, it's Hadron here, welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today with a handbag rehab on this amazing Chanel tote bag. So I actually thrifted this a little bit ago. I'm going to have that video linked if you guys want to check that out. Look at the leather. Like, it's a patent. It looks very... It's like, I don't know what it is <laughs> happening with it. I tried a bunch of different cleaners and products that I have for leather to see what would work best on this and I think I found the perfect combination. So first of all, if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, vlogs, home decor, cooking videos, handbag rehabs, all that fun stuff, do not forget to subscribe. Hit that little bell buttons so you're notified when new videos do go up add me on instagram it's hadrian just like it's spelled here and check out my shop it's hadrian.com to see what i have for sale from my thrifting adventures and if you guys are watching this on or before valentine's day of 2021 i am offering a sale in the shop everything's gonna be 25 percent off most items will be already will already be discounted but items that are not please send me a dm on depop and i will discount that manually for you guys but without further ado let's hop into this so here's the bag again like i said at first i thought this was like dust but when you wipe it like it literally does not come off it's like hazy it's like not bright it looks really dull uh and i tried different things on the back check it out here's the back of it so as you can see this is the first thing that I tried right here, you can see, it, I did it down the middle, and it actually worked pretty, pretty well. Then I tried something else, and on this side, it looks so much better. It actually looks like I dyed it darker because it's even more black than this. So if you can just imagine, like this is how it was to this. Like it's, it's really, really good. So let me show you guys what I used, and I don't know... Like, I, I know where I bought this product. I got it from Costco a while back. I'm gonna have to research it and see where they sell it or if you guys can get it. I, I think it's like a pretty well-known product, right? To clean it, I just use something really simple. I use this Kiwi Quick Dry Sneaker Cleaner. You can get this at any Target or Walmart. It's actually cheaper to just buy it at the store. So I'm not gonna have this linked. If you guys want it, go, go to Walmart, Target. I think they have it at CVS and maybe Rite Aid as well. But uh, I think it's less than 10 bucks. I think it's like six or seven dollars for this. And this is really, really great for all almost every type of leather. Uh, just don't use it on suede, new and anything untreated. I used this, and then the thing that really made that leather sing and shine is actually this product right here. Easy Detailer Premium Appearance Products Leather Vinyl Trim Cleaner and Protectant. This is magic so we're i'm going to actually just work on one half of the bag of the front so that way you guys can really see this stuff in action because i was having some trouble getting it shined up i was like what am i gonna do with this but i knew like we could do something and i i was happy with how it was at first but when i tried this it was a million times better so let's just get our microfiber cloth right here we're gonna use our Kiwi shoe cleaner. And like I said, we're gonna mark it down the middle. So we're just gonna do one side for you guys. So you can see how gorgeous this product works. And I actually totally forgot about this product. I found it while I was going through some of my supplies. And it's honestly so, so good for this. So let me show you guys how this looks just with cleaning it with this product. Because I tried my Cadillac boot and shoe cleaner. And that stuff is like my most favorite thing. And it didn't shine it up to how I wanted it to. And this also does have like, if you can see it right here and right there, it has a couple little kind of like scuff marks in white. And we're going to take those off too with just a little bit of nail polish remover in just a second. But I just want to get this as clean as possible to get, make sure to get off all the debris or anything that's sitting on there. I'm gonna let it dry and I'll show you guys just like how it looks just with using the shoe cleaner because honestly, it, it cleans it really well. And at first it looks like it's like really good, but once it dries, it kind of still has like that hazy kind of look and you don't, it doesn't have that shine still. Like I almost felt like it lost its luster <laughs> and I was really, really sad. 
Okay, so while we're waiting for this side to just dry up, I'm gonna use this nail polish remover, and I just have a little Q-tip right here. We're just gonna put a little bit of the nail polish remover on the Q-tip, and we're going to clean off those scuff marks. So I'm just gonna dip that in there. And it's really easy to just clean them off on patent, the little white scuff marks. So let me zoom you guys in a little more. You can see this mark right here, and that just comes right off right off and I usually use like the other side to just like wipe up the excess because you never want it to really sit on the leather for too long because it can damage the finish and you do not want that so and it looks like that's it there's some more on this side but I'm gonna show you guys we're, I, mean, I really want to just leave it intact you guys can really see how clean the bag gets it looks like it's actually pretty dry already. This is like wipe off any excess moisture. But as you can see, it did not really do too much to the leather. It's still kind of, it's still cloudy. It's maybe a little bit better, but um, even with the cleaner, it didn't really do anything to the finish. Let me show you the, how cool this product is. I'm gonna shake it up. And it's a foaming product. And a little bit, like, goes a long way. You don't really need too much of this. Which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to use a little bit like that. I'm going to get my microfiber cloth. And we're going to apply this in just a circular motion. Like this. Again, I really want to do that half just half of it, so you can really see a side-by-side -side comparison of how the bag looks. And I really just want to massage it in, make sure it gets into all those crevices. Make sure to get into those nooks and crannies. And it's supposed to like kind of get a little hazy sometimes because that's the whack. And then once it, like that kind of happens, then you buff it out. Okay, look how good that looks already. Like, it looks amazing. Like, I just painted that side or something. So, I'm, like, blown away by this product because nothing else that I tried did this. Just adding a little bit more. I really just want to get into all the crevices of the quilting and all that stuff. Okay, so I'm going to let it sit, and I'll be right back with you guys, and then we're going to buff it. Alright, you guys, it has been a few. So I'm just going to get a, another microfiber cloth, and then we're just going to buff this, kind of like in a circular motion. You know, like that wax on, wax off kind of thing. And we're buffing it, buffing it till it gets nice and shiny, and honestly, it's going to look... So, so good. Look at that shine. Like, it is intense. It is beautiful. It is glowing. It is everything. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's so, it's so good. Right? Like, look at the left side. It's dull. It's not as shiny. It looks dry and just like, eh. Where this side just looks so hydrated. Sorry, the little pieces of the microfiber cloth are getting stuck into the stitching a little bit. But look at that. It looks so stinking good. It looks fantastic. I am beyond excited by how this product turned out. So right now, we're just going to finish cleaning up the rest of the exterior. And we're just going to time lapse it. And I'll show you guys how it looks at the very end. <laughs>
All right, you guys, we are back with a bag. I wanted to show you how fantastic it looks. It just looks a million times better. It is so much shinier. It has all that luster back. It doesn't look dry. It doesn't look like super cloudy. Like it's bright and shiny and beautiful. It looks lacquered. It looks gorgeous. All I did again was I cleaned with my Kiwi quick and quick dry sneaker cleaner. And then I use the Easy Detailer Trim and Vinyl. Again, I'm gonna see if I can find this. I looked it up on Amazon. They don't have the trim cleaner and protectant. I only saw like the regular wax that they have for cars. Yeah, it. I, I'm so happy. It came out more beautiful than I ever thought that it could. Here's the back. It looks stunning. The bottom looks great. The sides look so, so good. So I'm just like so over the moon with how the bag turned out. The handles also look fantastic. They look great. So that is the end of the video. I know like it wasn't really too much, but I wanted to share this product with you guys and show you guys how I was able to get this bag looking so good and so shiny. I know a lot of you guys have patent leather bags or shoes or whatnot and you want to bring that shine back and especially if it's a more vintage item sometimes it's really hard to bring that shine back because it was it took me a second to figure out how to get this bag looking so shiny again but that uh that product did work really 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 well normally this is what i use it's the cadillac boot and shoe leather lotion and usually that's enough Especially with uh, something that isn't so aged and with the amount of wear that this bag had. This would have been perfect if it was something else. But this one I guess needed something way stronger and this is the stuff that worked really really well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys have any other questions about handbag repairs, shoe repairs, shoot them down below in the comments. Maybe I'll do a video on it very soon. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to check out today's vlog. It's up at 11. The new thrifting video goes up tomorrow but early at 7 a.m. I love you guys immensely, and I'll see you guys all in that next video. All right, bye.